Hello everyone. I wanted to take this opportunity to review the rooftop tent that I chose to purchase for my M416 trailer. Now this tent is sold by Tough Stuff 4x4, a company out of Southern California. It sells for $1300 and it has an annex included for that price. Now some things that I liked about this tent was the quality of the material and the construction. I liked the price obviously. Uh, now that $1300 is shipped to your door anywhere in the country. And I like the construction of the tent. Uh, it has a honeycomb aluminum base. It has a really heavy poly cotton material that's waterproof. And it comes with an annex, all for that price. And I'm going to show you a lot of the nice features of this tent. And I'm also going to point out some things that I didn't like about the tent. Now I should say I paid full price for this tent. I have no association with Tough Stuff 4x4, so you're going to get an honest review. Now, I will say in the video, I have about 15 nights in this tent so far. My kids have about 7 nights down below in the annex. And I've noticed a few things in that time. So please join me. I hope you like the video. Now the first thing that you're going to notice is how easy this tent unfolds. It's just like any other rooftop tent. It takes literally about 3 minutes to open the bag and to unfold the tent and get it set up if you're not using the annex. If you're using the annex, it takes a little bit longer because the annex has to zip in. Now you can leave the bottom of the annex zipped onto the sidewalls, but it makes it really hard to clean the annex after you're done. And if you've got kids, you really need to clean the annex after you're done. So you're gonna to wanna to unzip the bottom of the annex. Now this cover is a really, really heavy gauge material with a nice zipper, thick, like what you would see on a, a raft. And it slides into the groove here and it'll come out so that you can slide your annex into that groove and you can see the foam pad just folds up there's enough room inside you could fold your sleeping bags and stuff up but one of the things about this is with the pad getting wet from condensation i wouldn't want to leave it in here too long fold it up without airing it out now when you buy this tent from tough stuff it comes with a whole lot of accessories it comes with the tent poles, a nice bag. It comes with the little mat for the stairs so that this uh, bottom, which is like a vinyl tub bottom, doesn't get a hole in it when you put the stairs down. It comes with a bag for the bottom and it comes with an annex. And this annex extends down from the tent and it'll actually hold two or three people. I've had both my kids sleep in there in twin beds. Uh, one tip that I've noticed with tent poles is that when you put the tent poles in the bag don't put them in this way because it'll poke a hole in the bottom of the bag put them in this way and that protects the bag the other thing about these poles is over time you can kind of see they arch a little uh, that is because there is a whole lot of tension on these poles that holds the cover for the windows out I'm actually surprised by how much tension is on there they're hard to get in and they're hard to get out so I'm gonna go ahead and put the annex on and then I'm going to show you uh, a tour of the tent. Now putting the annex on this tent is probably the hardest part of putting the tent on. There's a zipper at the top and there's a zipper at the bottom. I don't use the annex unless I have people with me. Now I imagine if I do any winter camping, I'll probably put a little table or use the area down below to change in so it would be nice. But I have gone on trips where I've just used the top and it's worked out really nice. So once you get the zippers on, You've got a really nice area and it just needs to be staked down. Probably could have picked a better day. It's about 100 degrees out here. Burning up. A lot of these tents have these little pull tabs. I don't really like these. I'm a little concerned that this is going to pull through. It's a, it's a nice heavy material like you'd see on a raft or something. But uh, I'm concerned that they're going to pull through the stitching. You don't put a lot of pressure on them when you use them, but just over time, you know, they could pull out. Again, there, there's a lot of tension on this tent in a lot of different places. Now, a lot of people have questions about the mounting system on this tent. And these bolts, I actually got longer bolts than what were supplied. I think the ones supplied were about three inch bolts, but my rack required longer bolts. 
but it's a really neat slide system and it just slides into this groove and you put the end cap on but you can see it goes across the whole bottom of the trailer in the back and in the front and my rack is tilted in and I was able to even get it on my rack now a key thing here to keep in mind is where the two honeycomb panels plug in you can see there's a little groove in there and it needs to fit in there just like that or else there's going to be issues uh, with the part of the tent that hangs over. That locks it in and really adds a lot to the stability of the tent. Now the bottom material is a really heavy like nylon coated material and it's a tub it's like a tub basin so the sides actually come up so when it's all staked in it does a really good job of forming kind of a little tub basin so that uh, whoever's down here doesn't get wet from a lot of rainwater. One of the features I like on this tent is the double doors. Now, this bottom actually has Velcro and the jury's still out on the bottom. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but uh, this has one zipper on each side. This is a really good waterproof material. It's not as heavy as the tent is, but it's pretty good. It's like a rain fly material. And then you have your no -seam mesh. It's not just mosquito mesh, but no -seam mesh, which is really good. And I'll roll this up and I'll take you inside. So one of the first things that you notice as we go into the tent is this ladder. And this ladder is a flat, it's a square ladder with a slide. And the nice thing about this is that some of these tents have round ladders. And when they get dirt caught in them, they just jam up and they won't go anywhere. So the benefit of this ladder is you can just brush these out if you get mud or dirt on them. You can see I've got some mud on from my last trip. And then it'll work perfectly, it'll slide, so it's not an issue. So now inside, I don't have the bottom staked down so it doesn't appear to actually be as big as it is. So this will pull out. But you can see there's a lot of room in here. Again, I can fit dual queen excuse me, twin mattresses in here, and the kids can fit in here. Up above, we have the larger section with tons of headroom that I can stand up perfectly in, and my kids can as well, and they're fine. So, before I go into the tent, I'm going to show you just one little thing that I noticed, and it's because I'm a welder. But on these brackets holding the stairs, there's a bit of undercut. Uh, it's hard to see with the camera, but I would say there's some pretty good undercut on both. Haven't had a problem with them, but I'm concerned that over time, if there's uh, side torsion on them, they might break. You see they actually cut in pretty good. And we'll go ahead and go up. Now upstairs you can see again uh, there's no CM mesh. The tent poles are aluminum. There's plenty of headroom. There's enough room in here, I would say, for two adults and a kid. It would be kind of tight, but two adults comfortably. Now, one thing about this mat, or several things, this is like a two-inch thick mat, and it's supposed to be high density, but after 15 days, this mat has gotten very soft, and it actually hurts to sleep on. Uh, so I'm going to either order a new mat or put another mat on top of it to take care of that. The other thing about this mat is when you're in this tent for a couple days, condensation develops under the mat. They sell a liner for that, so it's not that big of an issue. Under the mat, this is a honeycomb aluminum, and it's very strong. So you don't have to worry about you know water soaking in. I actually left the plastic on it just to add protection. You see there's a bit of dirt in here from my last trip. This is the first time I've opened it since my last trip. So inside, you'll notice a number of features. These brackets are incredibly strong brackets that hold a lot of the weight of the tent on them. And again, the aluminum poles and there's some vents up top, which is really nice. And you'll notice this is not your standard tent material. This is a very, very thick water coated material. And every one of the seams is sealed with tape now some of the seams, like you see right here, it started to come off. There's actually a pole in here that lifts the rain fly up.
but the tape has started to come off in some places. It doesn't look like it's going to be an issue and let water in, um, but it has started to pull away. And some of its design problems, like over here on this little, little ringlet, you can see the tape has pulled away. Uh, it's not the tape over the stitches, and that's important to note. The stitches on the tape, it seems like just about everywhere, the stitches on the tape are okay. It's just the tape where it's not stitched that's an issue. So one of the things about these tents is that they're under a lot of tension. And I didn't realize that. And I'll show you an example of that in a minute. But now on the inside of the tent, you've got another door and windows. And these windows unzip as well. So it can be completely open. Uh, this is not the kind of tent that you want to be in in the heat. Not a hot weather tent. It is definitely a uh, four season winter tent, but it is not a hot weather tent. It is burning up in here right now. I don't have this open and I could open it, but I'm not gonna mess with that today. So again, the mat, some issues with the mat, uh, minor issues with the seam tape. Uh, overall, I'm really happy with it. And you can actually buy an LED light. It's a 12 volt light that works and it will light up this whole tent and the annex works really well. So another little option they have, or not an option, but built in is the little bags to hold your personal effects. There's four of them, two on each side. And then these bungees pull the tent in when you are uh, folding it up so that it makes it easier to tuck the sides in. Uh, one of the other uh, things that's good about this tent is the bar that goes up at an angle. Some tents have a bar that goes down here and then maybe a crossbar up here. And the problem with that is when the tent gets rain on the top, it loads the tent and it'll start to cave in. And with this, it just pushes down on that bar and actually reinforces the strength of the tent as it pulls on the top of the tent up here. I'm gonna go ahead and go back down. I'm gonna show you a few other things about the tent that I like. You've got side windows on each side. Again, those open completely. There's no CM mesh as well. There's actually three sides on these windows, inner, then the mesh, and then the outer. So that's really nice. And the back opens up as well. It'll unzip and give you access to your trailer. Here you can see what I was talking about, how hard it is to get these in, but there's actually a little spot in the annex that'll fit through. And these are under a lot of pressure. So they pull out a lot on this part of the tent. And it places a lot of pressure on these seams. So I'm concerned that over time, these seams may start to pull apart, though they haven't yet. There's also a lot of pressure on the corner of the tent. Haven't had any issues with that yet either. So far, I'm really happy with it. It'll just about go anywhere that I want to go with my trailer and it'll get you there in relative style. You know, when everybody else is sleeping on the ground and their sleeping bags or the backs of their cars, you're in a nice tent that's set up really well and your kids can be down below with twin air mattresses and they can be sleeping almost as comfortable as home. Now, another nice feature on this tent are the bars. There's three of them, front, middle, and rear, that lift the rain fly up above the tent to get a little bit of extra uh, space between the rain fly and the tent. Here you see the rain fly. It covers the entire top of the tent. As I mentioned before, there's a little bit of standoff above the tent that helps insulate the tent. And it comes down the side of the tent to help rainwater drain off the tent. Now, one of the things that I don't like about the tent is how hard you have to yank on these things to get them out. It's a little bit ridiculous. You can see that in this clip. That's it, everybody. If you liked what you saw, please, please, please like, subscribe, and share my video. I earned it. It's like 100 degrees out here today, but I braved the heat, and I showed you this wonderful tent. And if you would like to look at some of my other videos, just check out my channel. Thanks.